Piano Chords by Josh and Caleb, recorded by Evans. Piano Chords was born in 1485 in Medellin, Spain. His parents were wealthy and lesser nobles. His dad, Martin Quartz, served in the Spanish military as an officer. At, his, at 14, he started studying at the University of Salamanca. He was studying because his parents wanted him to become a lawyer. To his parents' dismay, he failed law studies and went to the university and left the university. He had a new goal. He wanted to become an explorer and conquer new lands. At age 19, he sailed to the New World with 500 Spanish soldiers carrying guns and swords ready for war. He arrived at Cuba, not satisfied. He, he, he sailed to now what is, what is now Mexico. He discovered that the empire, the Aztecs, scattering almost 6,000 Native American allies with the help of a translator, he laid siege upon Aztecs. Aztecs, rocks, and spears were far less superior than the guns, the guns and swords that the Spanish had. But the Aztecs had far more numbers and drove the Spanish away. The Spanish, the Spanish attack had not been in vain. They had brought a disease called smallpox. Smallpox ripped through the city, killing many Aztecs, and an estimated of 240,000 Aztecs died. Hernando Cortes and the Spanish came again, but two things changed. Aztecs had less numbers, and Hernando had many more American, Native American allies. The Spanish wiped out the Aztecs, leaving Hernando as governor. Hernando was not done. He still had some exploring left in him. He set sail for the new lands and found what is now called California. He was his first Spanish man in South California, which is now one of the most successful areas in the world, but now as a state. After discovering California, he went back to Cuba and claimed his governorship in Cuba. A couple of years later, his authority was challenged. The king and queen of Spain appointed a new governor. governor. Heartbroken, Hernando Cortes went to Spain to plead, plead his case. <clears throat> Rejected Hernando Cortes, returned to Cuba, a small island near Mexico. He went again to Spain, this time with many rejections. This time, he got appointed of some authority. A court, returning to, to, to Cuba, left the powerful, man of course was overjoyed. Hernando sadly died December 2nd, 1547, at age 62. Crediting with destroying the Aztecs, he won one of the great, great Spanish victories. Without him, America wouldn't have, wouldn't have been in its great state as it is right now.